Hey everybody, uh, just want to make this uh, quick video about how to remove a heat sink from a Dell desktop. Um, removing a heat sink from really any desktop is pretty much the same uh, process, but I thought I would uh, just use a Dell. I mean, they're all designed the same but different, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to use a Dell desktop. This is an 8700 model as my. Uh, guide here. So basically this is the inside. Um, the area that you want to focus on is right here. This is your heat sink and this covers the CPU and cools it. And this it also helps attach it to the motherboard as well. It's already attached underneath but this helps it. But this, this is mainly a coolant for the CPU. And what we do is unscrew this. There's usually, again, the type of screws that are used vary computer, computer, to computer, manufacturer, model. But there are four screws here. You just <clears throat> undo. One at a time. I didn't. No. You may have to like this one it needs a little bit, yeah. This one. Here we go. Okay, and then you have that. <clears throat> Move that out of the way. Gently. And there's your CPU. Now what you do is you gently unhook that pin there. See that there? It goes in there, you unhook it, and that's when you can lift that up and then take out your CPU. And you just do the opposite, really, to put it back in. Simple as that. It's very uh, uncomplicated. Okay, now once you get uh, the chip out, you may want to clean the thermal paste off of it. Thermal paste is meant for cooling. It helps keep it cool, conducts the heat uh, in a better way. Uh, so what you can do is, I just use a cotton swab and rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is good because even if you drip it on it, it won't, it dries fast. So you don't have to worry about it damaging the unit. So, you rub with that a little bit, loosens all that crud up. And take a Kleenex, wipe it all off, get rid of the excess gook, and there you go.